But yeah, this is the Rose of Jericho. I think I'm just gonna Baby, yeah, to stimulate my mind with some metaphysical vibe breathing conversation. When I stroke your energy, I feel elated. No, no, it drives me crazy. Alright. So today I'm going to discuss the Rose of Jericho and its spiritual uses. And I'm just looking at like notes over here. But yeah. To do what I'm about to do, you need a bowl. You need some water. I have spring water right here. I don't know why I picked it up with my middle finger, but yeah, I did that. <laughs> and then, of course, you need an actual rose of Jericho. And it's known by many different names. Um, Jericho rose, rose of Jericho. Miriam's flower, flower of St. Mary, St. Mary's flower, Mary's flower. Um, a white mustard flower, a resurrection flower, resurrection plant or a resurrection fern and that's crazy because literally when i was like it can it can withstand any environment i was thinking of my tattoo you know this is a symbol of a fern aya from a west african tradition but for me like it really made me think like damn this this could be a a physical manifestation of that energy and it is Scientifically, it's part of the spike moss family, and the actual name for this plant is Selaginella lepidophilia. It's a native plant from the Chihuahuan Desert of the United States and Mexico. Yeah, and this plant is known for being able to come back to life. It's known for being able to resurrect itself. It's basically like a, a little miracle, you know? When it's not near a water source, it curls up into a ball. And then um, in a few minutes, of course, I'm going to put it in the bowl and actually demonstrate to you how it looks when it gets in the water. I think it's going to take like up to four hours or so. So I'll have to like insert footage of that. But I will show you me putting it inside of the water. So you see what color it is now. It's like brown, brown like my skin. Once it is fully back to life, fully resurrected, it will be a a green color you know like a like pine green or evergreen like evergreen that's the color that this will be why is it such a special plant because it is able to bring itself back to life and its ability to resurrect itself really lends to us very magical and spiritual properties magical in the fact that it can bring in abundance it can help us to attract things um this Rose of Jericho attracts peace, abundance, it attracts blessings, it attracts good fortune and prosperity, not just to you, but your home life, to your business. Also, the Rose of Jericho is very protective. It protects against illnesses, diseases, um, and all types of like negative energies or vampirisms or attacks. Lastly, with this Rose of Jericho, you are going to place it in a bowl of water. The water that is inside of the bowl, it can and is a, it can be used, but it is a form of holy water and it can be used as that. So, you know, holy water is water, water that you pray over, water that is anointed, wa water that is like blessed, basically. You're going to replace the water of this bowl at least once every week. And that water that you replace it with, you don't want to just throw it down the drain or, um, throw it outside I mean you could give it back as an offering to earth but I recommend using it to create a spiritual water a holy water that you can use um, even when I was just thinking or when I was saying putting it back in the earth you could even use this water to bless your plants your other plant life your garden to give it more abundance and prosperity and um, all of those positive things that you want in your garden so it can grow so now we're going to talk about how you can work with this plant um, basically when you buy it you want to put it inside of a bowl and then put water on it before you go into working with this plant you want to hold it you want to build a relationship with it you want to speak intentions and affirmations over the plant and inside of the water I know a lot of people place money coins um, crystals things that bring abundance things that reinforce the prosperity and the peace and the blessings and the good fortune and the protection that you want to be instilled in this water in this plant yeah. so make sure you you charge up your plant you pray over your plant and you treat it just like you would with any other type of magic that you do 
As for me, I'm not going to put any coins in there because, I don't know, I'm just not. I might put a piece of copper, like a penny. But I know for sure I want to put some crystals in there. So I have a big plate of crystals right here. And I'm just going to kind of decide which ones I want to put in there. I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple. And mm, Yep, I was right on top. <laughs> I was like, I'm probably going to do like a yellow colored crystal. But it was right on top. I'm going to use my tumbled piece of golden healer quartz. And this is a stone that connects you. Oh, you can't see me. This is a stone that connects you to, to source, to creator, to whoever is the person that's running this damn show. Um, this stone is also really great for your intuition, for your faith, for your personal power, and for your... Um, yeah, this, those are things I'm going to say. I'm always like trying to give four examples, but no, I'm leaving it at three. It's great for personal power. It's great for um, connecting to source, connecting to the creator. And, of course, in the name Golden Healer Quartz. So it's a very healing stone. So that's what I'm going to put in with this. Rose of Jericho. So of course, I'm going to just take some time, speak with my plant, get it acclimated to being around this golden healer quartz, and then we will go into the next step. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm over here in the corner. Basically, I spoke my intentions, my affirmations. I spoke power into this little plant. I let it know that I'm so grateful that it came into my life and that through the powers that be, the one that created us, we will be able to work with each other and create more abundance, more power, more prosperity, more peace, more blessings, all of the um, beautiful things that we desire in life. And I, I also added in a piece of golden healer quartz. Oh, it's not in there. Where did it go? Oh. <laughs> I think I took it out because it, it was like making little ashes everywhere and pieces are falling off. So I took that out because I wanted the water to be as clear as possible. And I'm thinking about using like the pieces that fell off, crushing it up and making like a powder or a, um, a spray or something. So I'm putting in the golden healer quartz and just kind of put it in there. Okay, I'm back. And I went, I said I was going to turn the air off. I did. While I was away, I saw my coin jar and I was like, let me get some coins to have some money into this. Um, so I have, I, I looked through a lot of pennies and I didn't find one that said 1991. They were like 80s, 70s, 92, 93, 2000s, 2010s, but no, it was just 1990. Then I was like, you know what? It's okay. Try another form of currency. Like, I prefer the penny, I like the color of it, and I feel like copper really works well with my magic, but I wanted something that could represent me and align with me, 1990. So I'm going to go ahead and put this quarter in. Before I put my quarter in, my quarters in, I'm going to cleanse them with my Florida water spray that I made. And this has... I think it's a piece of snow white quartz in there which is great for like calming and clearing okay so these two coins are both physically and spiritually cleaned right now and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the bowl and now I add water and some people add just a little bit, some cover it up. I'm probably going to add it to right about where the the flower line is. Because I don't think it floats, but we'll see. And this is a gallon, so it's probably like a little under half a gallon of water in here. I think it's floating if it's turning around like that has to be floating right <laughs> so it is floating hmm I'm gonna just keep going until I get to that line Wait. yeah it is not floating I thought it was floating okay so it's not floating it's just sitting there you can already see 
I mean, it's wet, so. As you can see, the water instantly got murky because of the debris. So basically, that is how you set up, prepare your Rose of Jericho for your altar, for your sacred space, for wherever your desk, your business. So I will be back tomorrow in the morning, later on tonight, to show you how the plant looks once it blooms or resurrects itself. Bye. So it's been, I want to say like less than an hour, maybe two hours at the most. And look how far she has come. I'm starting to think maybe I put too much water, but I don't know. Seems like she's enjoying it. So I will do an update maybe in the morning because I know tonight there probably won't be good lighting. So I'll show you in the morning what it looks like and hopefully it'll be some green color. <laughs> well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Let me stop playing. Okay, you guys, it is officially 2.25, which means it's over, hmm, I don't know. It's probably exactly 20, why is it not focused on? So I think it's been definitely about 24 hours. I'm about to work out, I have everything all set up, about to do that. But before I do that, I wanted to come back, close out the video and show you the Rose of Jericho. So this is what we're looking at, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? As you can see, I don't think the water has gotten up here yet, or maybe that's just like how it's supposed to look at the top. But yeah, they're on the bottom. The water is still there. I'll lift it up. Coins, crystal still under there. And you see it literally soaked up a lot of water. Like it, it soaked up half of the water that I put in there. So I'm happy I filled it up to the top. But yeah, this is the Rose of Jericho. I think I'm just going to shift it this way. Wow. But you can kind of see where it blooms open it. Let's zoom in. There we go. Do you see? That's, that's like the point of blooming right there. But from what I see, it kind of has like multiple. It bloomed on this side, opens up there. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions about the Rose of Jericho, comment down below if you have one. Also, I want to know if you have ever used it to make holy water or to make like Rose of Jericho water, um, let me know. Well, since you made it to the end of the video, you're still here, I'm definitely going to let you know you should subscribe to my channel so you can be notified every time I upload new content about divination, astrology, spirituality, and my lifestyle. As always, it's me, Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. Until next time, bye everyone. Maybe I just stimulate my mind with some metaphysical vibe breathing conversation. When I stroke your energy, I feel it later.